Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, I've made you a list of budget tools, actually really good budget tools that I've been using for the past year plus and stuff that I could actually stand behind and I could recommend with confidence because I've obviously been using them for, for ages now. So first of all, we're going to start off with this right here. This is actually on my desk. It's right next to me. And I have only been using this and I have a ton of rework stations, which are in the back room. Uh, one of them, which I gave to my assistant, but most of the time I'm just using this because it's so freaking tiny. It's about that big and the power delivery is great. It's not the best, but it does everything I need it to, uh, which is highly recommended in my opinion, in terms of uh, the amount of space it takes on the desk. There's no noise and it's just always reliable. And it even has a sleep mode, which is really nice. However, if you do buy this, it doesn't take the standard, you know, typical tips. They're called like T100s or something. I forgot what the hell they're called. I wanted to order some, but I never ended up ended up going around ordering for it. So I just ended up using that little thin tip for just about everything, even XT60s. It's not the most ideal setup, especially for a beginner to use those tiny tips, but it does help. And most of the time, I'm just really just soldering wires to flight controllers or uh, receivers and everything of that nature. Now, for $37, this is an absolute steal, and I recommend this to anybody out there, even as a backup. This beats by far almost anything I've ever used, and I freaking love it. You cannot go wrong with this. This is how much I stand behind this because I use it every day. Now, next one over. This one is a little step up, even in price. However, the power delivery on this one is insane. And the reason why I'm showing you this one is one, it's price. Two, um, how much space it actually takes. And you can detach the air unit and also the soldering unit from the main board. It takes minimal space, which I kind of usually really need in this area. And the power delivery is by far one of the best ones I've used yet in these cheap ones. Um, for example, I would solder to my electric skateboard. If I had a really thick wire, this is the one I would actually go, which is in the back room. And that's the one my assistant's actually using, not the bigger ones. I have bigger ones with ceramic and heating plates and stuff. But those two are the ones that I constantly use. This one probably over two years now, I think around two years, actually, this one. Other one, this one's about one year so far. So it's not a month or two. No, I've been actually using these constantly. I've done a bunch of builds with this one and also with this one. So those are definitely recommended. Again, they're linked down below. Now, these hex driver tools, uh, I have not the exact ones here, but there's something I wanted to point out here. These are all going to be also really great. The handle is very important. I've come to learn that as time goes on. If it's one of those sharp looking uh, handles, it's going to leave you blisters, uh, especially if you're building frames or, or constantly doing something with hex drivers. This is the type of, of body you want. And what's really nice also, you could actually remove those tips and then just put other tips if you needed to. So yeah, that's that's something to keep in consideration here. These are all really good and highly recommended you invest 10 bucks into a titanium driver kit because they lost ages. And I mean ages, I don't know where I put mine. And this is the kind of body, it's not bad, but it'll give you blisters. So you kind of want to avoid it if you're able to avoid it. I've come to learn that uh, very recently, actually. So yeah, that's something just to keep in mind right here. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. So this pad right here, this, this heating pad or silicone pad, I've had this for about a year. And this is the pad you see on, in my videos. When you see the product review on my table, this is what's under it. I use it for my videos and I use it to solder everything. It is really nice. The top is magnetic, not very strong magnets, but I never really use that. But the ridges do help and uh, it's really easy to clean just water. And then you want to get one of those, well, I don't know what the hell they call them, like deer skin for the car cleaning. And then you just wipe it with that. You don't want to wipe it with a cloth because then it'll catch those fibers. So you'd want to get one of those like deer. I don't, that's what I remember a long time ago before I bought one of those, whatever they are. But you, I think you, most of you probably know what I'm talking about. Like they just don't leave any lint anywhere. But yeah, that's the one I'd highly recommend, like 100% recommend for you. Absolutely gorgeous. I've had it for quite a while now. You can see it in my videos, just about almost every, every video you probably see this thing. Um, and this is why I'm also recommending it. Next one over is a tweezer. Now this is a tester and I do have it and I use it every once in a while. It is very handy. And if you're looking for one, this is really great. It does the job just fine. Nothing too special, pretty basic. And uh, you could check the details. I'm not going to go too far into the details here. I think I did a video a while ago on this, but you could check the capacitors, you could check the resistors, you could check the diodes, which is very useful for flight controllers and everything of that nature. So um, yeah, definitely probably pretty useful for some people out there. Now, these are a must-have. Um, 
you know, you could either use them just as normal tweezers when you're soldering and or just when you're when you're SMD working. So when you're doing hot air, these are really great. Uh, obviously, there would probably be better ones out there, but these are really great. Um, the ones that I purchased is not this one. It's actually this one here. It's a $16 kit, uh, but it comes with with all of these. And I did break two so far and not because of you know what it's supposed to do is because I try to stick something and open something with the tip right there and usually you break them but you have screws you can buy replacements and replace them anytime uh, but definitely worth it 100% worth it and what's really nice with these is they don't damage the wire so if you're soldering a shitty wire uh, these tend to kind of just dig into the wire and really ruin it and could cause possible future shorts uh, this one here is much more gentle to the touch on the wire and that's why I'd highly recommend as well ceramic tweezers here now this kit right here, it's only $5, $6. I buy one every year and I've done so many builds, so many quadcopters. One lasts me a whole year, which is actually more than a year sometimes, but depending on how much I'm building. But one of these, I guarantee you will last you a year. So only if, I mean, if you're just using for quadcopters and building constantly, this will freaking last you for a freaking year. And they're really, really great. I have a bunch of them everywhere. Um, so yeah, you can't go wrong with this. So that's really it. Those are the ones that really stick out in my mind. I'll probably look for some other things I have around the shop that I've been using, but these are the main things I use almost on a daily basis and I'd highly recommend and I could stand behind. That, that's the most important thing to me here uh, is that I recommend something that I know I've used and tested and has lasted. And um, yeah, I really hope that helps somebody out there. I know everybody's on a budget, including myself. And this is a really uh, great list and I'd highly recommend it and things that I use on a daily basis. You don't have to buy super expensive things and get the job done. These will do it and plus. And well, everything's linked down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.